Where am I? Sail buddy. This is Cameron, and this is Jack Black beside him from Tropic Thunder. <laughs> he works here. I can't believe it. Anyway, they got me to the dry bag section. They get a dry bag. Why do I need a dry bag, daughter? I don't know. I'm going on a flying trip. I got the phone call from Jay Siemens and the boys last minute for an event we're doing in Timbuktu. I just know it's cold. I know there's tons of bugs, and I know there's giant lake trout, walleye, grayling, northern pike, and that's about it. What do I need for grayling? You ever caught one? Okay, flies. That means it's I'm going to use spinner <laughs> with a fly connecting. <laughs> I'm gonna get the sail one. I like that. I like orange and black. Big into orange and black. Don those flyers. Let's go. It's a Toronto team. My son plays for him. Let's go flyers. Let's go sail. Without you, this video would not be possible. Lily, should we get some jimmies? No, we already got jimmies. Jimmy's gonna have jimmies, right? Need some big baits though. Honestly, I've never gone to a flying trip or anywhere good. I'm always fishing Lake Ontario, Lake Simcoe, public waters. So this is like the first real fishing trip. You know what I mean? I might catch my first railing, they say. All right, we're gonna get some Jigga Joe. Two ounce jigs, big and heavy, like the fish. Yeah, I'm gonna get some big flutes. What do you suggest for 40 pound lake trouts? I need Eight big. Inch. I like that they're extra tough. It's gonna last me a week. These are gonna get smashed by pike and lakers. If it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. But anyway, I'm gonna get some of these giant things. It's not like we're we fish boys. We're going to like some place where fish haven't even seen a lure yet. If you go skinny dipping where I'm going, you may not come back if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping for that type of fishing anyway, but not that type of swimming. Okay, I'm gonna get a Stratic 2500. Okay, why not? We're gonna do it. We're going big and go home. I wish you could come with me. I'm sorry. I gotta go on my own. You're too small. Fish will eat you there, babe. Cameo appearance by my daughter. No, this is your second appearance. Anyway, thanks for your help, boys. XO, XO. Hope I see you again. These guys think I'm nuts, eh? <laughs> I wish you could come with me. One day. One day when we win the lottery. See you in a few hours, a minute, five hours. I don't know when I'm supposed to get to the airport. This is so last minute, but epic at the same time. Uh, I'm at Toronto Airport right now. Today, I'm gonna take you on a wild ride because I don't even know where I'm really going. All I know is that uh, Jay Siemens and my Winnipeg family said, Terrell, we got an opportunity for you to come along on a fishing trip of a lifetime. I want this experience to hit me hard and kind of shock me. Supposedly it's like being transported to another planet. Yeah, the fishing is supposed to be insane. I've never done anything like this in my entire life. First stop, Winnipeg. From there, I don't know. Getting on the plane. We made it for sure. No close calls this time. So I'll see you when I land in Winnipeg, I guess, or on the next helicopter or plane or wherever I'm doing. It's kind of like a choose your own adventure bit because I don't know what's gonna happen, neither do you. Walk through the doors together. Jeez. Step one. We arrived. Just got in the Uber and now we're going to uh, one of the Telly Bros house and then we're gonna wait for Jimmy. I think we're gonna take a helicopter to the next spot, but one step at a time, one foot in front of the other. All right. Ikanu is Ikanu? Is that how you pronounce it? Ikanu? Josh McFadden, I don't know about you. You talk good, your words sound nice, but this guy cooks I for real. One. And down here, what do we got going on? A lot of VCRs. VCRs. VCR boxes and this guy just, I don't know, eating solid, dealing with lines. This is what they don't see. So Jimmy has showed up, but look at all this stuff that we're getting prepared. We're flying in somewhere? We're flying to Ganglers in Northern Manitoba and then we're flying to one of their outposts. Got the Jimmy's Perch Powder, of course. Big baits. Aaron believes we're gonna, it's big baits, big baits. Jimmy and I know other, oh, who's there? Oh, oh it's you, you can hear this. Brando. <laughs> <laughs> Is it weird to be on camera when oh, you man. usually have the camera? Yeah. yeah. But when are we leaving? In another couple hours? We may not sleep. Jimmy's still going hard in the pain. 2 a.m. Bugs all over the place. These guys are still trying to stuff rods in a hole. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we bring the camera here. We just fit 48 fishing rods in here. I'm talking about full size fishing rods. 48. Both <laughs> ends. Both ends. Double stop. So, in a few hours, we will be leaving to the end of the earth. It's basically as far up in Manitoba as you can go. More fish, more bugs, more problems. Better than no money can't solve them. Okay, first sight I saw is this is our intern, Hayden. I'm suffering from severe gas. Can you smell it? Oh, uh oh, snagger. There's chips I kept oh, eating. Out. There's the pro right there. <laughs> <laughs> he hates being on camera. It's the man on camera that hates being on camera, behind the camera, that works on the camera. The sleep was good, however, there was so little of it. Jimbo? We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. It's 5 a.m. We gotta go. Jimmy, do a shower. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta catch a plane. We are leaving. We are leaving. We are leaving. It's happening now. Pinch myself. I'm farting. We gotta go. I don't care what you say. 
Bane Lake, baby. Let's go, Bainer. Have you ever gone to a place like this and not caught? That's always really good. <laughs> Things are looking good. All right, we arrived at the next. Hey, best dressed, get that camera on me. Best I love it. I love dressed. it. You're safe. You look great. You're gonna be sweaty. I'm concerned. We are here literally. Do you want to, do you want to tell them? Literally what? Literally just, just to catch fish. Just to catch fish. That's okay. it. We are trained killers. We are mercenaries. There's the word. We are mercenaries. I just want a coffee. Have you heard that word? Cheers. Yeah. Let the event begin. It was a crazy night. No. So stressful. We were up till two. two. Yeah. Just rigging stuff. And what time is it now? Uh, six. No, six. Pretty chaotic morning. Everybody's here and checked in. We're ready to go. Boys are back in town. Yes, uh, we should be uh, airborne shortly. This is one of those things where he says, don't film this. <laughs> Official, we finally arrived to the end of the world, and it's the first bull jackson to ever hit this soil. I guarantee you. I bet you a, a steak dinner. The bugs aren't as bad as I thought. The weather's perfect. Anyway, we're gonna walk down the lodge. A few minute walk from the dirt road. So they got a side chopper here at Gangler's Lodge, and that can take you to other lakes. I guess that's what they're telling me. Job's not finished. Job's not finished. Aaron, get back. You were told. What do you call this stuff? Lichens or something? Everything you see is edible, Carol. It's so bizarre. What do you want? You eat everything. It's yep. so cool. Look at that ground. Yep, you can Sick. eat that. This is healthier than spinach. Really? You it's can a eat this? Food. So I'm chewing this stuff. He it says it's a superfood. Tastes like dirt. So this is the main lodge right here, and now we're going to another lodge. Is that correct? In that yellow paint? That outpost? You have to go in that building. It's ridiculous. Is it? What lake is this one called? Eggnog. Eggnog Lake. This is the main lodge at Eggnog Lake. We just arrived. <laughs> I don't know if I'm coming or going. You know, ping pong, my type of game. Whoa. Whoa. Respecting our culture, I like that. Yo, that dude made me pancakes. You know, Prince? Describe those pancakes. Uh, fluffy, round, kind of. Not burnt, not, not Cajun. Burnt, just like nice toast, lightly toasted pancakes. They got a good pancake person back there. They must have Prince back there. <laughs> I wish I could say the same for you. Look at this. Why so serious, Taro? <laughs> <laughs> we got an amazing pro shop here. Beats if you need it, man. I need these. Johnson Silver Minnow. If you come up here, sometimes you're in the flooded willows. You can throw that anywhere. Trust it. Flies. Berkeley Power Beats. Everybody needs some. Look at that spoon. The fish are big here. And a lovely miss. Cassie. Cassie. Nice name. <laughs> Friendly staff. Fancy. Patagonia. If you come up to this lodge, they will actually provide you with rods and reels in your own tackle box. Look at that. The Johnson Silver Minnow. So deadly. And they'll provide you with gear specifically to whatever you want to fish for. All rigged and ready to go. I like that easiness. If I came with my family to have all these tackle boxes and rods and reels ready to go. Thank you very much. No stress. And we even the boys took the plane to the cabin on Bain Lake. And we're taking the old air wolf. Really cool looking helicopter. Boys, we are going places. <laughs> Bro, <Bravo> six. <laughs> going You're gonna want to mute the intercom. We have arrived. These are our rigs, man. These are our cabins and all this stuff. We're at Bain Lake with one of the most epic crews ever assembled. Jay's like Samuel L. Jackson putting together this team. I have the resume of a much younger man, and we are here as a crew, looking healthy, looking thick, ready to do some damage on this lake. We're gonna be busting props. Rock stars. Yeah. Don't worry. Just go full tilt right here, bro. No Dude. big deal. That point right there. No look map. At that, look at that little bush there. Yeah. Can you see it? Right. Boom. There's a big pike right there. <laughs> right there. And the next one. He's casting decks. He built these. 
He just built Cor these. Corey built these? Yeah. Oh, sick. Week, they're brand new. Let the pre-fish begin day one. We got one more day of this. And the real outpost tournament begins. Doing it big like these horse flies the size of bumblebees. You know what I'm saying? Things are good. 